Hey, this is Judge Waits bringing you some hardcore team deathmatch action on the map drone. I am going to be rocking the M8 in this match, but I don't want to talk about that or this gameplay or anything like that. Instead, I wanted to talk to you about the top 10 things I'd like to see in the new Call of Duty Ghosts. And let me stress, I, you know, this is all from my point of view. You might disagree with me, but it might start some interesting dialogue. So keep that in mind. These are things that I want to see and maybe not things that you want to see. But let me get into these top 10 things and I'm going to gear this mainly towards hardcore players since I put up a lot of hardcore gameplay but some of these things will affect everybody all right the first thing is I'd like to see a tweak to the spawn system I am tired of killing somebody and then having them spawn 10 feet behind me and then shooting me in the back it seems to happen more in hardcore games especially team deathmatch than any other type of game so please put a minimum distance in there when it comes to this sort of thing I also would like to see a tweak done to the revenge system where if you kill somebody sometimes it will spawn somebody just up ahead of you and if they can tell the path that you are running they're gonna have a huge advantage a lot of times you know somebody will kill me and I know which way they're moving so I'll spawn in front of them and then I know they're just go just about to come around this corner so I'll just wait there and shoot them I get so many revenge kills when it comes to team deathmatch games so I'd like to see a small tweak when it comes to that the second thing I would love to see us go back to being able to set up score streaks for each class not just one score streak for all 10 of our classes or anything like that give us a score streak option for each class so that during a game I can actually switch the score streaks that I'm using so both of those would kind of affect both core and hardcore game types the third thing is man get rid of skill based matchmaking I don't know about you but it just seems like our connection has suffered all right I love league play I hope that makes a return I don't mind skill based matchmaking when it comes to league play but when it comes to everything else it just seems like our connection suffers a little bit I seem to be more frustrated in this Call of Duty than any other Call of Duty in the past so I would love to see that tweaked or taken out and let's just try and get the best connection going on all right, moving on to number four, let's get into the controversial area. Let's get rid of the target finders and other cheap things like that. Let's get rid of the riot shield, not get rid of the riot shield, but let's get rid of the ability to plant it, especially when it comes to hardcore. Somebody plants that and sits behind it with the FAL, especially if they have trophy systems up, that is very hard to counter and just very cheap in my opinion. You might love doing that or anything like that, but for me, that just drives me nuts and I'd like to see us get away from that. All right, let's move into some more hardcore specific things though uh, the first thing is I want to know what the score is of a game I am so tired of having to hit the back button to see you know if my team is ahead or behind let's have that score on the screen in a layer all right number six I also want to know how many bullets I have when I'm playing you know if you go into a battle you know they always say hardcore is supposed to be more realistic and that's why you don't see that information well if I go into a war or something I'm gonna know how much ammo I'm starting with I'm gonna be able to during the battle to look down and count magazines okay I've got three 30 round magazines I know I have 90 rounds you know we should be able to know where we're at when it comes to bullets and where we're at when it comes to our score streak so I want to see those two things in there I also want a delay in the hardcore spawn system I like that you're spawning sooner but give me two seconds to change my class if I need to I want to be able to like in core you know change my class and then hit X to respawn I think that would just be an awesome improvement I also want two hardcore playlists when new maps come out or at least one I want to be able to play the new maps in hardcore without having to play through every other map so either give us a TDM or a mosh pit or both of those you know the mosh could the mosh pit could be domination kill confirmed or search and destroy or something like that but give us some way to play these hardcore game types when the new maps come out that we don't have to play every other map all right, moving on to the next or the ninth one. Wow, we're already at the ninth one. I would like to see a tweak to the team killing or getting kicked for team killing system that is in place. First of all, let me say I love that you actually do get kicked for team killing because before we had this there were so many times when you'd be playing a game and somebody would just come in there to be funny and just start team killing everybody and nothing would happen 
But there are so many times that I'm playing, especially if I'm playing a game like Domination and it's a little bit longer than a normal team deathmatch, that I will just accidentally team kill enough people to get kicked. Sometimes that's two people, sometimes that's three people. And when score streaks count towards this, it is really hard. So please, let's remove score streak team kills from counting towards this, or let's give the party that the person is playing with the option to actually keep this person in the game or to kick them. You know, they'll know whether or not this person should be kicked or whether or not this person shouldn't be kicked. I'd like to see that tweak going on. All right, the last thing that I would like to see is, and speaking of uh, controversial, I want to see health regeneration in hardcore. I already hear the people going, ah, no way, Judgment, you're horrible. Don't even suggest that. No, I want to see it. Man, I am so tired of getting shot by somebody, you know, at the beginning of the map, and then I'll go on a five kill streak, and then all of a sudden I jump out of the window because I forgot that I got shot early on, and then I die from the fall damage. Please give us that health regeneration so that we don't have to worry about jumping out of a window, you know, later on in the match. You know, keep the health Health lowered at one time I wanted to see the health raised to like 50 instead of 30 but if we keep the health lowered you know even with that health regeneration you're still only going to be going up back to 30 one bullet two bullets at the max is still going to kill somebody so I don't think it would affect you and taking somebody out but on the other hand this is going to be something that helps somebody stay alive and not die in a frustrating way all right so I've got some time I'm going to get into my top three super selfish super Super controversial things that I would like to see in Call of Duty go so keep in mind this is super selfish I don't even know if I really want to see these things in here but the first thing is you know me I love running bouncing Bettys I would like to see it that a person cannot just kneel to go underneath one that just blows my mind that somebody can just kneel and go under one doesn't make any sense I want to I want to see somebody have to go prone to get under one of these bouncing Bettys so let's make that change and put it in there the other thing I would like to see I want Vess back you know Vess gave you 50 extra health and it was killer in hardcore. I loved running UAV and Vest for my score streaks. I was able to run around with shotguns, able to run around the map and not worry about people camping in corners because a lot of times I'd have that Vest on and I'd be able to turn on them and take them out. So let's see Vest put back in the game. The third thing is, oh and this is going to be you might hate me for this one. All right, and like I said, this is super selfish, but my friends let us take out the ability to split screen in a game, all right? Every time that I am paired with people that split screen, they go negative 20. Or if they're on their team, the other team, I always see them, they have gone negative 20. At least, you know, 19 times out of 20. In this particular game, uh, the two split screeners go negative 20 something. So it just seems to always happen. There are some people that actually can pull it off. And I know there's a lot of husband and wife teams and family teams that I see doing awesome with it. But for some reason, the majority of people cannot pull off split screening. I would love to see it taken out of the game. But there you have it. Let me know what you think about these top 10 things plus the super three extra controversial selfish things, whatever you want to call those things. Keep in mind, if you do leave a comment, please keep it respectful. And also keep in mind, I am not going to be around or I might not be able to respond to these comments until July 21st. That's when I get back from my mission strip. But if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. As always, though, take care and God bless. Hey, if you're a fan of the LSAT or if you want to see a video with some crazy spawns that go on, make sure you check out that top right video. If you're a fan of core game modes and you like the game mode arms race, then check out the top left one. I managed to pull off the UAV dogs and swarm in that one. But hope you like these. As always, take care and God bless.